In A Prayer for Owen Meany, John Irving presents an incarnational spirituality in the character of Owen Meany. Incarnational in that the spiritual is present in the world. That's the way Owen saw it. That Irving is not able to see this spiritual reality in life is evident in the conversion of the story's narrator, John Wheelwright. Wheelwright ends up believing in God in the end, but where Owen's faith is concrete and direct, Johnny's is abstract and mediated. John Wheelwright declares his belief in the first sentence of the novel. He is the reason I believe in God. I am a Christian because of Owen Meany. But Wheelwright is certainly not the Bible-thumping warrior that Reverend Higgins is. He describes himself as a pretty regular churchgoer. But he skips a Sunday now and then. He makes no claims to be especially pious, nor does he read the Bible much, preferring the orderliness of the Book of Common Prayer. He's got an anemic kind of faith. Irving emphasizes this passive expression of faith by metaphorically equating Wheelwright to Joseph, the father of Jesus. Owen chose for Johnny the role of Joseph in the Christmas pageant. In commenting on this event, Wheelwright says, I was just a Joseph. I felt that Owen Meany had already chosen for me the only part I could play. This is a refrain of the narrator through the novel. Both he and Joseph are only known through association. He says of Joseph and himself, he was that hapless follower, that stand-in, that guy along for the ride. This reflects the passivity that is clearly evident in Wheelwright's expression of faith through the novel. And he seems to resent the role. I, Joseph, had nothing to do, nothing to say, nothing to learn. And later again, I, Joseph, forever standing in the wings. Wheelwright appears to have had very little success in getting himself out of the role. For he says, I was 21, and I was still a Joseph, and I am a Joseph now. When he finally discovers the identity of his biological father, he expresses his disappointment by saying, my father is a Joseph, just like me. So Wheelwright admits that he has a faith just like his father used to have, before he, that is Wheelwright, was tricked into having absolute and unshakable faith. So why is John Wheelwright just a Joseph? Because his faith is never like that of Owen. In Johnny's case, there was something inadequate about his leap of faith. Johnny certainly experiences conversion. However, if we look at the nature of Johnny's conversion, the reason for his passive and vacillating faith become clear. When Johnny is converted, it is to a belief in the existence of God. But Johnny's equilibrium, which is supposed to undergo a significant shift in conversion, doesn't really go into much of a shift at all. His new equilibrium is not very far from where it was when he did not believe in the transcendent. He's a believer, but this remains a mere fact. It's never developed into a life. So why is this? Given that this is the state of his narrator at the end of the novel, I wonder if John Irving himself cannot make the leap that he forces on his narrator. Although Irving seems to locate transcendence in imminence, in the character of Owen Meany, the author is not able to overcome his own secular framework. Instead, he continues to hold on to an oppositional model of transcendence, where transcendence is the opposite of imminence, rather than inhabiting it. So the conversion of his narrator is, at best, only of imposed rational acceptance. Wheelwright never achieves a flourishing faith because he remains trapped in secular imminence. His acceptance of the existence of God is not able to provide him the meaning that an incarnational faith would. Because God and Jesus are as far away from him as Owen Meany is. But there's one more video coming in which we will put a bow on the series and offer some final, I think, interesting analysis. Thank you and we'll see you there.